Okay, class, let's stand up and let's pray. Mr. Lazabin, please lead the prayer. Okay, sir. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and the heart and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, you may see. Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. Any absent for today, class? No, sir. sir. Very good. It's good to know that there is no absent for today. Okay, class, let's bring out your assignment and check it. Stick paper, ha? Okay. Number one, solid. Number two, liquid. Oh. Number three, solid. Four, gas. Five, solid. Six, homogeneous. Seven, hetero. Eight, homogeneous. Nine, hetero. Nine, Oh, 10, hetero. Who got perfect? Score. Sir. 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 Very good. Okay, pass your assignments here. Forward. Okay, in our previous lesson, we discussed the three states of matter and mixture. Let's see if you still remember our past lesson before we proceed to our new topic. Okay, can you give the three states of matter? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Sir Ardonio. Solid, liquid, gas, sir. Very good. Um, can you give some example of solid, liquid, and gas? Uh, Mr. Nazagin? Sir, for solid, it can be chair or stone. For liquid, water or soft drinks. Then for gas, water, balloon. Okay, very good. Sir, for sir, it's hot air balloon or for gas. Okay. Now, give some example of homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Anyone? Sir? Yes, Mr. Alvanya. Homogeneous mixture example is salt dissolved in water. Very good. Other example? Sir, hello, hello. Oh, proceed, please. Sir, example is hello, hello. Oh, very good. That's delicious. Another one, please. Um, Sir? Uh, Mr. Ardania. Sugar in water, sir. Oh, very good. Another, please. Sir? Yes. Milky, sir. Oh, you're correct. You're correct. Now, let's have new hour lesson for today, the elements and compound. I'll prepare some slide for point. So, our lesson for today is elements and compound. I have the learning objectives here, so I will post it first. between the elements and compounds. Second, differentiate the characteristic of an element and a compound. Then last, create a, and demonstrate a chart, poster, multimedia presentation. Okay, very good. Okay, now let's move on to our new topic. Brief introduction of our lesson. What is an element? An element is a substance that is made up entirely from one type of atom. And what is compound? Compound is consists of two or more types of elements. You have an 
we have an example here. So these are our example. Can you name this example, please? Anyone? Uh, Mrs. Maria. Um, In compounds picture. For example, number one, um, it is bleach, yes. butter, and cotton candy. Yeah, very good. And in sir? element part, yes, Miss Mary. The next one is gold bar, sir. Very good. Okay. Did you know, class, that there is so many elements and compounds in our surrounding, especially in our food? Yes, yes sir. sir. Very good. Now, let's... Okay, class, before we continue our discussion, let's play four picks one word. You know this game, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's start. Get a paper and write your answer in your paper and when you hear this sound, Papers up. Okay, okay sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Ready? Go. Yes, sir. Go. Sodium liquid. Compound, sir. Very good. We got the correct answer here. Sir. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Number two. Metal, sir? I think element, sir. Iron. I heard the correct answer. Miss Kiri? Element, sir. Very good. Number three. Sugar? Diabetes. No. Color? No. Sweets, sir? Yeah, you're correct, but the light is already on. Okay, number four. Um, harder. Metal? No. Heavy, sir. Heavy, heavy, sir. Yeah, that's correct. Very good. You got the all correct answer. Yes, sir. Now let's proceed to our topic for today. Very good. Now let's watch this video for more information about elements and compounds. Watch quietly and listen carefully, class. Scientists have found a new element. Now, what is all this about? A new element? Hmm. We look at this as made up of different elements. No, everything in the universe is made up of matter, and all matter is made up of atoms. <laughs> yes, you're right. But atoms combine to form elements and compounds. Now you're confusing me. Don't be confused. Let's start with atoms. Okay, I have learned on makingitgenius.com that atoms are the smallest invisible particles that make up everything. Very good. Atoms are the smallest unit that retains the property of any element. And they are so small that we need a microscope to see them. You are right. So now let's talk about elements. Okay, I have all yours. Elements consist of only one type of atoms. Hmm? <laughs> let's understand that with an example. Argon is an element found in nature as gas. This is an argon atom. Now many argon atoms growing close to each other form argon gas or argon element. Okay, so element atom consists of only one type of atoms. Now let's see another element, nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is another element. Its atoms occur in pairs. So, two atoms of nitrogen together form nitrogen element? Yes, many such pairs close to each other form nitrogen gas. Okay, I get it. Elements consist of same type of atoms or molecules. So now, can you name some other elements? Oxygen gas, hydrogen gas and chlorine gas. These are all gases. Can you tell me some solids which can be called elements? Hmm, I will 
give you some examples. Look at this sprite can. This can contains rows of aluminium atoms. Aluminium is an element. An element is a simple single material that cannot be broken down into simple material. Atoms in an element are exactly the same. Each element has a unique symbol consisting of one or two letters. Like aluminium has a symbol AL. Right. Do you remember the party we had last weekend? Which? The barbecue party? Yes, the charcoal that mom used for the barbecue is made up of carbon atoms. So carbon is also an element and its chemical symbol is C. Very good. Another example. My earrings are made up of gold. Gold is yet another element and its chemical symbol is G. <laughs> no, it's AU from the Latin word for gold, aurum. Oh, okay. Sometimes atoms can join together to form molecules. Many common gases exist as molecules. Who are my previous examples? Nitrogen, oxygen? They are examples of elements made up of two or more atoms of the same element. Sometimes atoms of two or more elements combine in a chemical reaction to form compounds. Like if I mix hydrogen and oxygen. It's not just mixing. A complex process called chemical reaction is required. Okay. Mm, yes, in air, all the gases like oxygen, nitrogen, etc. coexist as different elements. Okay, so hydrogen and oxygen when chemically react for water. Yes, its chemical symbol is H2O. Two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen combine to form water. And water is liquid, unlike hydrogen or oxygen, which are gases. Yes, the properties of a compound are different from those of its elements. Any other example? This is a common table salt. I guess this is a compound. Yes, made up of two elements of sodium and chlorine. Sodium and chlorine combine by some type of chemical reaction to form salt. Right, sodium chloride. To be precise, one atom of sodium and one atom of chlorine chemically join to make up sodium chloride and form salt. Let me guess its chemical symbol. Na of sodium and Cl for chlorine make it NaCl. Oxygen, carbon, etc. Now my 
white chocolate. Here it is. I'm loving it. Okay. Have you enjoyed this video class? Yes, yes sir. sir. It's okay, great. What yeah. have you learned? Everyone, what have you learned in this video? Sir? Oh, Miss Ariel, yes. Sir, atoms are the smallest invisible particle that make up everything, sir. Correct. Atom is the smallest unit that retains property of the every elements and it has three parts, the proton, neutron, and electron. Okay, so you can see in this model, the Bohr's model, electron orbit, the negative charge, the positive charge is the proton and electron. In this middle, they call it nucleus. Okay, next. Okay, let's continue. Can you bring your periodic table? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. If you bring this, so I will teach you how to read the periodic table here. The atomic number is 8. This is the symbol of oxygen, the element symbol, the element name, oxygen, and this digit over here is the atomic weight. Okay. Let's watch this video. And now, ASAP Science presents the elements of the pure. Sir! Yes, Miss Ubile. I know the different parts of elements 
sir. Okay. The halogens, actinides, lanthanides, noble gases, alkali earth metals, and heavy metals, sir. Very good. Can we send that? Very good. Okay, let's have an activity. Please prepare. Monosodium glutamate, 
sodium, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. Who got the perfect score here? Sir! Very good class, you got all the correct answer. Now, I think before you eat something, you will check first what does the substance in your food. Am I right? Yes, sir. Do so you know if it's good to our health or not? Yes, that's right. You will now have the knowledge of the substance that we enter in our body. Okay? I know you have already have the knowledge about the elements and compound. Now, let's have a short quiz. So, get one for... I will read the substance here. And you will answer it. If it is element or compound. Okay, sir. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, yes sir. sir. Number one, sugar. Uh, compound, sir. Very good, Mr. Ardonio. Number two, pin can. Uh, element. Element, sir. Very good. Uh, number three is you. Um, me, sir? Yes. You count. Compound, sir. Very good. Number four is coins. Oh. Element. Element, sir. Very good. Number five, air. Element, sir. Compound, oh, sir. Pound. Oh, my God. Wrong. It has a two answer. Elements and compound. Oh. Okay, sir. Oh. Got it. Number six, water. Element, element, sir. Compound. No. Yes. Compound. Yes. Compound. Number seven, salt. Compound. Compound. Yes, very good. Number eight, sulfur. Element, sir. Very good. Number nine, charcoal. Element. Compound, sir. Compound. Compound. Element. Very good. It's element. It's made up of carbon. Am I right? Yes, sir. You're right. Class, for our activity application, form a group of state of five consisting of six students and make a role play, showing the importance of elements and compounds in our daily lives. Okay? Yes, I will give you 10 minutes to brainstorm and have your, collect your uh, groupings. Okay. Class, Mr. Briggs, for our role play. I will give each a group of two guys to have a guide here, okay? Mr. Ardonio, please forward. Okay, thank you. Are you ready to present your work? Yes, sir. Okay, the first group is the group of Mr. Easy. Okay. Let's proceed. So, as you have seen, we've presented a coal power train. So, coal comes from the element carbon. The use of this to empower the train has been a pilot to to further enhance the transport system. The, uh, the whole power train has been the pioneer in the train industry. It has been a base prototype for the steam powered engine trains and the magnet today. Thank Very you. good. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Isip and his group. Okay. Let's have the gener generalization of our lesson for today. Okay, straight. Anyone in this class? Sir? Yes, Miss Karen. Elements is a pure substance that cannot be decomposed or break down by chemical means. Each element is distinguished by its atomic number. Every element is made up of its own type of atom. Okay. Can you read the different groups in periodic table? Anyone? Mr. Nazadin. Different group. 
in periodic table, the alkaline metal, yes. less hence than the other metals. Mm -hmm. Next, al alkaline earth metal, it has low electronegativity. The third one is the transition metal, very hard, sh shiny, ductile, and malleable. Next is, next is metalloids. Many possess metallic luster. The field is non metal, high electronegativity, and the last one is halogens. Extremely high electronegativity and very reactive. Very good. Okay, next. Compound. Please read. Mr. Is it? Compounds. A molecule made of atoms from different elements that are chemically combined and obtain a new substance and it is homogeneous like water or the hydrogen oxide H2. Very good. Now let's have an evaluation. Get the cross rice paper and answer the following question. I have three questions here so please answer. I will give you three minutes to answer this. Okay, for our evaluation, let's have a um, graded recitation. So, I will read this. Uh, differentiate the elements and compound. Anyone in this class? Sir? Yes. Elements are made up of their own atoms, while compounds are made up of various elements. Very good. Another? Sir? Sir? Another? Mr. Lazatin. Sir, element is a pure substance while compound is a combination of two or more elements. Okay, very good. Okay, question number two. Give some example of elements and compounds. Anyone? Sir. Mr. Easy. Sir, coins, water. Very good. Okay, next. Answer please. Sir. Hydrogen and oxygen to form water. Very good. Okay. Next question. In your own understanding, in our lesson, what is the importance of elements and compounds? Sir? Ms. Gary. The importance of the elements and compounds are it can be used in making medicines and help our body to become healthier. Yes. Very good. Another answer? Sir? Yes, Mr. Repuso. Elements and compounds are very much important to us because it enables us to, to further develop our society. Yes, you're right. Very good class. A lot to stay, I see, in your answer. Okay? Pass forward your answer, please. Yes, sir. All done? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, class. Goodbye, class. That's all for today. And see you tomorrow. Bye, sir. Bye, Thank sir. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Bye, sir. Thank you.